uh, for the hot spasa stent. This is a very good uh, stent uh, that I can say the all in one stent when we want to do some drainage, particularly for pseudo sit drainage, uh, wall of uh, pancreatic necrosis, and also uh, gastro jejunostomy, and uh, also the choledocoduridinostomy. So those all kinds of lesions, I have used hot spaces to drain all kinds of lesions already. But for exact number of cases, I haven't collected. But since the hot spaces uh, recently launched, so not uh, many cases that I have uh, done, but all kinds of lesions that I mentioned, I have used uh, for the hot spaces already. Okay, let me uh, tell you uh, one by one. For gastrojejunostomy, very benefit. And for gastrojejunostomy, if you want to use uh, lamps, I would suggest hot system and also the hot spaces because uh, it's uh, all in one and you cannot use the cold spaces in my opinion. It will be technically difficult. And for the choledocoduridinostomy, you can use either a uh, cold system or the hot system, but certainly with the hot system, it gives advantage of the all-in-one procedure and quicker and uh, uh, and more convenient, uh, in my uh, opinion. And uh, for pseudo sit and wall of peri uh, wall of pancreatic uh, necrosis, um, that's a definite uh, indication uh, for lamps, particularly in war of pancreatic necrosis. And if you have a um, hot system and patients can afford for that, it will be uh, faster and uh, easier than the cold uh, system lamps. For technical use, in, in, in terms of a technical standpoint, when you want to use the hot lamps, including uh, hot spaces, you have to learn how to uh, connect uh, the device to the uh, machine, I mean the coagulator. And also you have to learn that uh, what is the um, uh, proper range of the stent that should be in the uh, target uh, lesion before you start uh, deploying the stent. And then this is a uh, endoscopic technique uh, that you must learn exactly how to, uh, 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 in the image, what is the correlation between the ultrasound image and the level of the stent that uh, we deploy. Uh, this is just want to make sure that you will not release the stent inside the target lesion. Until if, if you don't learn exactly what's the proper length of the stent, uh, where is the exact place that you should uh, launch it and pull it back and release the proximal end um, that uh, might cause a technical problem. So, so that's, this is the things that you should learn and be sure with your, yourself before you start uh, the procedure. Um, recently, uh, we just uh, published uh, our uh, interesting case, the patient have double duodenal and bile duct obstruction. At the beginning, we plan to do ERCP for biliary drainage, but because of the ampulla obstruction, so then uh, we cannot perform the um, uh, the we cannot perform the ERCP. So then we switch to use the uh, lamps, which is a cold spaces to perform the choledocoduridinostomy. And then uh, because of the supraambulular duodenal obstruction, so the patient couldn't swallow. So then within the same uh, uh, time, uh, after we finish choledocoduridinostomy with the cold spaces, then we also perform uh, gastrojetunostomy under endoscopic ultrasound guidance with the hot spaces and both procedure technically successful and the patient was uh, well after the procedure he could eat and bilirubin came down 
So then uh, he was discharged safely because of help from the cold and hot system lamps uh, spaces. If, if you compare with hot spaces with the tubular metal stand, I think they, it has a benefit, at least uh, two benefits. The first benefit is that this is slam, so it's lumen opposing metal stand. So they pull two hollow viscous organ together and they have anchors on both sides. So this can prevent either uh, distal migration or the proximal migration of the stent and they can stick uh, two hollow viscous organs uh, together. And the other advantage of the hot system, you can use the uh, all-in-one procedure with the puncture, dilation and placement of the stent. If you use the cold system, particularly uh, tubular one, uh, uh, a little bit more uh, difficult um, because you need to use a puncture dilator before you place the stent. And once you place the tubular stent, and also you ha then you have to be careful and, and follow the patient uh, carefully because there might be chance of the migration later after tubular stent insertion. <laughs>